Hey guys, this is Matt from Upsilon Mining and today's video is how you can actually reuse your stove outlet to power your mining rigs. So stay tuned. Okay, so a common problem a lot of people have with their ability to power their rigs is simply just a lack of a 240 volt outlet. Now, if you live in Europe, I, I guess that's pretty common over here, over there. But in North America, we are stuck with essentially a lot of 120 volt or 100, yeah, 120 volt wall outlets running either 15 or 20 amps. Now, the idea is you what you want to do is power your rigs off to 40 volt because not only are you doing it for efficiency reasons, it's actually more efficient drawing power out of a 240 volt circuit but you get to leverage the use of a PDU and also run more rigs off a single circuit. And it's also safer in many ways too. You're not kind of running extension cables all over your house and you know, popping circuits left and right, or you know, you can't, you know, your kids can't, you know, run a hair dryer because you know, you, you've got to shut your rigs off first or something crazy. So one common thing that most places, even most apartment buildings, and this is Everything is at your own risk here. Make sure you contact an electrician or do your own research before you do anything like this. But this is what I've done is my house has a 100 amp panel. And because of that, I have to limit the number of circuits I can add to it. When I have the electrician in here, I got an extra circuit added, added for the 240 volts but I needed more. So I, I filled up a PDU uh, running 240 volt at 30 amps. That's about like 50, 500, 6,000 watts. And I needed another one because I was running off of 120 volts everywhere. So before I yap too much here and you guys get bored, let's go over here and take a look at what we have here. Squeeze behind here. Let's get a light on so you can actually see. So what I've done here, as you can tell, is my stove is like completely unplugged. So obviously the first step is unplug your stove completely. And if have you haven't noticed, I am actually using a hot plate I got off Amazon here, which is kind of running off of just like this one, 120 volt, 20 amp circuit here. But if you look down here, you can clearly see that the stove itself is actually not plugged in at all. And what I've done is using a standard NEMA adapter, 240 volt outlet. It's actually a four prong outlet. I was actually able to get this adapter here off Amazon to actually run directly into the PDU. So if you take a look here at this wire here, this wire is actually the PU. And this is running down through a hole I drilled through the floor here. Now don't make, don't be making structural changes if you're renting um, a property. But what I did here, since I own this place, is I drilled a hole large enough here for the for the floor. I just stuffed it with some, some uh, insulation but I mean you could use a grommet or something and this wire is actually running down into the basement and powering a PDU so let's hop down into the basement and we'll see what's there okay guys here we are going down into the mining basements um, okay so let's take a look here where that hole runs down from upstairs so let's go around this way get a better view There we go. So there's no rocket science here, really. We're just drill a hole up there, as you saw earlier. Ran the wire down here, and it's kind of just being routed over here to this rack here. Um, and then I got this PDU here. This is a 30 amp trip light PDU. And then from those PDU, I have a C13 to C14 uh, cables running into all the rigs. I mean, that stove outlet is basically powering every single rig the uh, on this wall here sorry on this rack here and then we have another PDU up you up here this is an APC metered one so it actually really it shows the amperage on this little screen there um, and that's being run fed by a dedicated 220 volt that I got installed from an electrician here let's go over and take a look quickly at the panel see what we're working with so if we go over, over here, there is the panel. Let me open that up. And what do we have here? So 
I have an electric car, so that's my 40 amp EV uh, outlet in the garage. I might do dual purpose that one actually when I'm not charging the car to mine on, so we'll see. But electric electricity costs are starting to add up quite a bit, so I don't know how much more I want to mine unless I want to start cashing some of the money out to pay for like the electricity. But um, there is the stove plug right there. It's 40 amp actually. It's not even that hot. 40 amps, so you do the math, 40 times uh, 240 would, would equal whatever the wattage would be for, uh, for that. But uh, in the case of the trip light uh, PDU, it's only 30 amp. So remember where your power is being pulled out of. If you're pulling the power of a 30 amp PDU, that's 30 times 240 that, uh, and times 0.8 as your 80% rule on the PDU. That's the maximum wattage since we measure GPUs and wattage. So that is the stove plug, and the plug right here is a 30 amp 240 that I got installed for the first, uh, the APC PDU I showed earlier. So I'm running off this 240 30 amp, and I'm also running off my stove plug as well. And I also have another with 20 amp here that was installed downstairs, and I'm also dual purposing um, other outlets from around the house, including in the garage. Yep, and here we are back upstairs guys. Nothing nothing new to show here really, but I just want to touch again on this hot plate here. This was about, I'm not sure how much it cost. It was like 30 or 40 bucks. And that's what's just running off a standard 120, uh, 20 amp circuit that I got here. And you could just kind of run, depending on what your needs are for your household, I guess it really depends. For me, this was fine because all I needed to do was to boil water, enough for a frying pan or two to cook for myself and my kids. And then you can complement this by getting maybe like a, like a, I have, a, I have like an air fryer here. It's not like an air fryer, it's like a convection oven. I got my toaster, I got other small appliances and whatnot over here. But you really, if you don't use the stove, and most people don't even tend to use the stove, I mean before, unless you're really in the home cooking and using that a lot, but even before I didn't use the stove much. Like the actual stove was probably used five times a year, and that's including cooking meals for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and whatnot. But like, guys, if you don't need your stove and it's sitting idly there, and the, and the most you ever use it for is the cooktop, maybe for once in a while to you know, fry eggs or boil water. I'm not dual purpose that, that outlet. So anyways, guys, I don't have much else to talk about. This was pretty quick, but remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know if this is something that you've done or you've thought about doing. What barriers have you had to doing it? Why, why have you or why haven't you? And let us know your success. I mean, this is one way of leveraging what you already have to you know, power mining. I mean, this 240 volt outlet was just sitting there powering this little tiny clock basically for the longest time. And now it's being used to uh, mine crypto on my GPUs. So anyways, guys, like I said, like the video, subscribe, sign up, sign up. I mean, by subscribing and clicking on that little bell thing in the bottom right there and share with your friends and comment below. I'd love to read your comments and find out what you guys are doing to power your rigs. If this is something that you've done, whether it be repurposing a stove outlet or a dryer plug outlet. I mean, these are all interesting ways. No matter what you do, make sure you follow all safety precautions and electrical safety rules. Obviously use durable, adapters and plugs and fittings and be careful. I take no responsibility for anyone doing anything stupid here. So that is a, just a warning. So anyways, guys, talk to you later. See you in the next one.